What's up, everyone? Mark Lobliner, CEO, MTS Nutrition, Chief Marketing Officer, TigerFitness.com, creator of the Outright Bar, as well as partner in the Ambrosia Collective and 015 Nutrition. So I got an email from this gentleman by the name of Ryan. Now, Ryan has been going to the gym making gains. And he's on HRT, he's on the cream, and he take HCG shots three times a week. So he and his wife go get their blood work done, right? And their liver enzymes, their AST and ALT, are slightly elevated. So his question for me is, what should he do? Should he be alarmed? And the answer is, number one, I'm not a doctor, I'm a fucking idiot. Don't listen to me. However, I'm also going to state that here is my knowledge of the situation. So take this for what it's worth, an idiot talking about his knowledge of the um, situation, and do what you might, okay? Do what you might with it. So, AST and ALT are enzymes present in the liver that are tested to basically measure your liver function, how well your liver is doing. If your AST and ALT are elevated, it is generally a bad sign. It's not good. It's not good. Could be indic indicative of, of liver failure, of a ton of different things. But, and there's a caveat, these enzymes are also, are also native to skeletal muscle tissue. So your muscle, right? Your muscle has AST, ALT in it. Strenuous training increases. AST and ALT in skeletal tissue, skeletal muscle tissue. So what that does is it raises the AST and ALT in your blood, giving you a higher AST, ALT reading. So from bouts of strenuous exercise, even endurance exercise, or what we do in the gym, just training, exercise, your AST and ALT can be elevated. Good doctors, if his hormone doctor was a good doctor, he would probably know this and tell him that. But he's obviously not going to Hormone Health and Wellness, which I will link down below. Hormone Health and Wellness handles all my HRT. They can work with you whether you're in California, New York, Tennessee, or their hometown of, obviously, West Palm Beach, Florida. So what happens is that causes an elevated um, AST, ALT reading. So athletes need to account for that, hard training athletes. Now, after an intense bout of training, your AST and ALT might be elevated for as many as seven days or more. So taking the day off before giving blood might not do the trick because it's elevated for many days afterwards. So my advice to you is to talk to your doctor. He knows you're on HRT. Let him know that you are training. And if you don't wish to stay, he's going to probably tell you take a week off then do your blood work. A lot of people, if you're like me, I'll tell the doctor to go pound sand. So that's not an option. So what you need to do is have the doctor evaluate if that is really uh, something to be alarmed with, being that you train. And also you have to look at the big picture. Look at your other blood work. Your, look at your BUN. Look at your creatinine. Look at your bilirubin. Look at all your other levels, right? Look at all your other things that are measured in this blood work. And if it all pans out, I wouldn't worry about it. But again, I'm not a doctor. I'm an idiot. Please consult with your doctor. But that is why bodybuilders, it's not, even if you're not on, this is not, I don't think this is related at all to your HRT. Testosterone is not hepatoxic at that level. Um, I think it's simply related to training. And also, uh, another thing to note is that if you've been training hard for a year, it's not going to increase it as much according to the data I've read. But let's say if you haven't trained hard in like a year and then you go to the gym and just go ham, it's going to create more AST, ALT in your blood. It's going to cause that. And you'll have an even higher reading. So if you're not a frequent trainer, if you're a newbie, it might be even higher. So that's the thing. Would I be concerned? No. Would I even look twice at it? No. But I'm not you, and you should talk to your doctor. But that is why bodybuilders and weight trainers and athletes and track athletes and baseball players and football players, most of us have high AST, ALT. One more thing. I don't. My AST and ALT, as I posted my blood work earlier this year on Instagram and all those, I'll see if I put it up here. My blood work is perfect. Why? Well, I have only one reason for that, because I train harder than a lot of people. And uh, I'm also on HRT. It's because I take Ambrosia Nectar. Ambrosia Nectar is the perfect organ health and overall health formula. Ambrosia Nectar is delicious. And Ambrosia Nectar is basically took all, like greens powder. The goal of a greens powder is to take a bunch of green stuff and hopefully something happens, fruits, veggies, whatever. Nectar takes all the good stuff you're going for in greens powder, gets rid of the shit you don't need, and keeps the shit you do need. So I recommend 
I recommend to you as a friend, not because of your medical issue. I recommend you buy Ambrosia Nectar. I recommend everybody in this world takes Ambrosia Nectar. Healthy supplement ever created. Healthiest supplement ever created. Recommend that. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm Mark Globeliner. Like this video. Subscribe to this channel. Click on that notification bell because my views suck. And I look forward to seeing you again. Love y'all. And that's not a game. I'm at Tiger Fitness Headquarters in Loveland, Ohio, and look what just arrived. The Blueberry Crisp Cashew Butter Outright Bar. Check it out, I wanna show you guys something. This is so delicious. Look at that. It is vegan too. Look at, oh, oh, wait, 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 look at that. Oh, oh, oh! Mm. Available now, get yours.